Hello everyone. Welcome to the demonstration of Appsy Connect. In today's demonstration, I will be showcasing you how to integrate your online Presta Shop account with the back office ERP SAP V1 via Appsy Connect. Well, uh, there is a demo Presta Shop account and demo database company which will be used for this demo purpose. I will start by the customer synchronization process. For that, I will be creating a new customer in Presta Shop transit and the customer synchronization will be taking place from Presta Shop to B1 direction. So let's start by the customer synchronization process. So I'm just paying to Presta Shop front end. Here I have to put an email ID, unique email ID has to be put in here. So I'm adding the email ID first. And let's create an account. Here I have to mention the details regarding the new account like the first and last name and of course you have to put a, a unique password and once you have added all the details for that particular account let's just register so account has been created successfully now I'm just quickly add the address here you can add different billing and shipping address for this demo purpose i'm keeping one address as a default address so you can use it both billing and shipping purpose you have to mention the details like the city state and zip code and phone number you have to mention here and once you have added all the details let's just save so the account has been successfully created in uh, Presta shop now I'm quickly go to the uh, Apsi Connect agent and here is Apsi Connect agent uh, in both direction the integration point are available here so from Presta shop to SAP direction you can find there is a integration point business path where you have to trigger this uh, integration point before this uh, customer synchronization uh, so once the uh, synchronization has been done uh, it will be you will get the customer under the business partner in SAP and uh, you can find the result of the synchronization that whether it is uh, successfully done or not in your recent bucket and the details regarding the synchronization you can find in the log file this is a log file of AppSecond now quickly go to the SAP and under the business partner master data let's find the customer by its name so here is the customer uh, which I have created in Presta's shop. It's successfully synced with all the details which I have mentioned for this particular account. It's available in SAP B1 right now. You can see that. So uh, I can say that the customer synchronization is successfully now done. Now I'm just quickly uh, move on to the item synchronization part. For that, I'm just quickly go to the inventory part where under the item master data, let's create a new item. You have to mention the item number first and you have to provide a description of course you have to provide the unit price for that particular item and we can choose the price list from under this list also and in the sales or uh, sales data you have to mention the dimension of that particular item in the remark section you can add a description for that particular item and once you have added all the details uh, let's just add uh, so these are the default fields which i have mentioned for this demo but if you uh, want to map any other fields that can be possible also and one thing i want to mention this item synchronization and uh, customer synchronization both are the bi-directional process so if you want to create a new account or new item in presta shop and want to synchronize that from uh, Presta Shop to SAP direction that can be possible also and if you want to create a new customer in SAP and want to synchronize that from SAP to Presta Shop that can be possible also. So uh, under the SAP to uh, Presta Shop direction uh, in Pre SAP to Presta Shop direction there is an integration point that is product that you have to trigger. Uh, well, I want to mention there are two types of trigger button is available in Apsi Connect. One is manual, another one is auto. So if you want to make it automatic, then you have to provide a particular time so that after the time, data will synchronize automatically. You don't have to trigger this button manually. But for this demo purpose, I have configured it in manual. So just for that, I'm just uh, clicking this trigger button. So uh, in the recent bucket, you can find uh, the result. 
So now I'm just quickly go to the Presto Shop backend and under the catalog, let's find the product. So here is a product which I have created in SAP is successfully synced now with all the details which I have mentioned for that particular order, uh, particular item. It's available here. And if I go to go to the price section, um, you can see the price is also available. And let's find the product in front end. Uh, here is a product which is right now showing out of stock. So let's update the stock of that particular order item in SAP and update um, the inventory for that particular item. So let's go to an uh, inventory transaction and under good receipt. Let's find the item first. And let's update the quantity for the particular item. And once we have added the details, let's just add. Uh, um, inventory is updated in SAP. Now I'm just going to, uh, so under the SAP to in, in AppSecondNet SAP to PrestaShop direction, you can find the item stock update integration point. And once the synchronization has been done, um, the status which is right now showing out of stock, it will be changed. It's, you have to just refresh this page. So you can see the stock, uh, it is showing in stock. So the status has been changed. So I can say the quantity is added. So uh, let's uh, refresh this page. And in the back end, if you go to the quantity part, quantity section, you can find the quantity which you, uh, which I have mentioned in SAP is uh, available and showing in PrestaShop right now. Now let's move to the order synchronization part. For that, I will be uh, placing a new order um, in PrestaShop and the order synchronization will be taking place from Presto Shop to SAP Direction. So uh, let's place an order. So I'm just uh, placing at order by the name of the customer which I've previously synced. Let's proceed to checkout. You can add different uh, shipping charges for that particular order. I have added this flat rate, I mean this um, my career shipping charges for this demo purpose but if you want to add more shipping charges that can be possible also and that can be mapped also according to uh, client's requirement. Let's proceed to checkout. Now let's click on pay by check if you want to add any other methods that can be possible also and once you've added uh, all the details i mean you have placed you have to just confirm this order so uh, the order has been placed successfully in Presta shop and the status of that order right now showing adding check payment now i'm just going to the sap Firstly, you have to sync that particular order. For that, uh, from Presto Shop to SAP Direction, you can find the integration point, sales order add. And once the synchronization has been done, you can find the sales order under the sales order part in SAP. So let's find the order. So you can see the order which I have mentioned. I mean, in Presto Shop, which I placed, it successfully synced now with all the details. Like the line item is also available with the price, and the discount is also available. So these are the details um, which I have mentioned in uh, in Presto Shop. It's right now showing in SAP. So I can say that the order synchronization is successfully done. Now I'm just quickly convert this order into delivery or shipment. And in the logistic part, let's add a tracking ID and let's add it. And uh, uh, from SAP to Presto Shop direction, you can find the delivery status seeing integration point to synchronize that particular delivery or shipment. And once 
uh, the delivery synchronization successfully done the status of that particular order which is right now showing everything check payment which will be converted into shift and you can find the attached pdf of invoice also and if i go to the order in back end and let's find the order so it's showing shipped that means the order uh, i mean the delivery synchronization successfully done and if i go down in the tracking section tracking number section you can find the tracking id which i uh, mentioned here in the sap is uh, right now showing in presto shop also and if you refresh this page we can find the pdf or the, of that particular i mean invoice pdf of that particular order so here is a, a invoice of that particular order so uh, these are some few integration points which you have configured for this demo if you have any queries you can directly contact with us thank you